my favorite business book of all time is the Book of Mormon. Okay, now I see a couple faces and you're like, well, this guy's way out there. The Book of Mormon, that's not a business book. I've learned more from the Book of Mormon about business than any other book I've ever read. I've, read, I've learned more out of the Book of Mormon about running a business than any expert or professional that I've talked to. And, and I hope that you'll understand what I'm coming from. And, and here's my point. Heavenly Father knows you. He knows you intimately. And he loves you. And he wants you to be successful in everything you do. And, and I know a lot of times we think, well, yeah, he helps me spiritually, but hey, school and business, you know, he's not really interested in that. That's not true. That's not true. And let me, let me share with you one of my favorite scriptures. And if you don't have your scriptures with you, that's okay. This, you weren't planning on this being a fireside and it's not required reading. But I'm going to share with you a couple of scriptures. Um, Mosiah chapter 4, verse 19, and it says, For behold, are we not all beggars? Do we not all depend upon that same being, even God, for all the substance which we have, both for food and remnant, and for gold and for silver, and for all the riches which we have of every kind? The Lord is telling us that we depend on him for our subsistence, for our income. For our success. That's what he's telling us. Well, if that's the way it is, then why don't we do more to involve, involve our Heavenly Father in helping us to be successful? And I'll promise you right now, if you'll make the Lord your business partner, you will find yourself more successful with Him than you can be by yourself. And the Lord will bring great things into your life. And, and I, believe that with, I believe that with all my heart. You have to work your whole life. So, so at the end of the day, you might as well do something great. And, and if you've got to work your whole life, you, you might as well at the end of the day become great. And, and I want to read a quote to you out of one of my favorite books, um, Good to Great. It says, first, I believe that it is no harder to build something great than to build something good. It's no harder, the result better, and the process much more fun. Well, why don't you go for greatness? So why don't you? Why don't you decide... If you've got to work the rest of your life to do something, to do something great. And with you and the Lord, you'll be amazing what great things you can accomplish. So, one of my favorite business parts of the Book of Mormon is 1st and 2nd Nephi. I think Nephi was the ultimate, ultimate entrepreneur. Okay? The ultimate entrepreneur. Think about it. What were all the different ventures that Nephi was faced with? Entrepreneurial. What was he faced with? Think about it. Any ideas? He built a boat, right? I gotta love Nephi. He's a boat builder, right? Okay. Manufacturing. He built a boat. He was a shipbuilder. You know, he had his own cruise line, cruise to the promised land. He was a good trader, wasn't he? Wasn't he? Yeah. How about when he went back to Jerusalem to get Ishmael? Talk about a salesman. Talking Ishmael and the daughters to come with him into the wilderness. You know, I'm sure it was a real sales job to get anybody to marry Laban and Lemuel. Okay? That's salesmanship. He built a bow. And then when he got to the promised land, he took the sword of Laban and he built weapons, didn't he? He was a weapons contractor. Weapons manufacturing. What else did he do? Read about how Nephi deals with his family and the things that they were required to do. It, you'll learn a lot from how Nephi dealt with his family. One of the things about, about Nephi that you will begin to relate to as an entrepreneur is... A lot of times you'll be faced with circumstances that you don't know what to do. It doesn't matter how much education you have, how much experience you have. Sooner or later, you will run into situations where you don't know what to do. And, and what did Nephi do when he ran into the situation of trying to get the plates? They, they cast lots. They were unsuccessful. They tried to buy them. They were unsuccessful. What did Nephi do on the successful attempt? You know, Nephi did a lot of things. He was the king. He was a politician. He ran the government. You know, he was a real estate developer. He developed the promised land. He built buildings. You know, he did it all. And, and you're going to go into a lot of different things, and there will be times where you don't know what to do. But I promise you, you can be led by the Spirit, and you and the Lord can do great things. When Nephi built a ship specifically, I love this story. He did not know how to build a ship. Yet the Lord helped him. And it says he prayed off, and he went to the mountain oft. And the Lord showed him great things. 
he was able to build such a great ship, it got him all the way to the promised land, didn't it? And when they were done building that ship, they stopped and they looked at it. And a couple of things about that ship. It was not built after the manner of men, but it was built after the manner that the Lord showed them. And in the end, it was exceedingly fine. The Lord can help you do the same thing with whatever it is you're pursuing. Whether it's building a business, whether it's in academics, your schooling, whether it's in athletics, whatever, it, maybe you're a musician, whatever it is that you're doing, if you'll involve the Lord, He will help you. So